Hello everyone and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 4. This time we are going to be starting our career for the very first time. Uh, planning to do a couple videos of career mode uh, and then uh, I probably won't. I'll wait for the game to come out so uh, I don't uh, lose all of my stuff that I'm working for because this is not my profile. So I'm going to go ahead and accept start my career. And here we are greeted with uh, start my career, a full career. We're going to do a custom start. Uh, this year, you can go in and start from any series you would like uh, rather than just jumping in to dirt. Now, last time we went over the dirt racing, it was a lot of fun, um, but I think I'm going to actually start from any series here. Uh, and I want to start out in the Gander Outdoor Truck Series and uh, move our way forward from there. That's what I want to do. So I'll accept this. And here we are, custom start from any series. And up here at the top, it says right there, custom start. Gander Outdoors. Uh, trucks series. We're going to go ahead and accept that. And the reason why I don't want to spend so much time in the dirt league and all that is just, like I said, it's not my uh, profile and I don't want to spend a lot of time in that. I'm going to wait uh, until I have my own first name. Here we go. Race driver. I'll put my name in here. Okay. My name is in there. We have presets for our face. Looks like possibly. Uh, would you like to select a preset driver? This will change your current settings. Uh, no, I can change my head and all this stuff here. Uh, Oh, I got you now. Presets are this. So, yes, we want to change that. I shouldn't change my name. Uh, just what I've got here. So, here we are. Man, lots of new uh, looks here. This here, it looks like. I like the preset options. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to find anybody that looks like me. I just want to look like... I want to look like a, a badass. Here we go. That dude looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not really sure. Let me, fix, let, me, let me find out who I want. I can always change it up. So, not a big deal. I like... I like this guy. He looks a little old, but that's okay. Shape, you can change the diamond square, uh, inverted triangle. You have these options here for uh, your face. Uh, fullness, you can change. So there we go. Uh, appearance is aged. That's why he looks old right there. So I'm going to make him <laughs> not have makeup on, um, but I want to show you the options here. Uh, rough, clear, uh, smooth. So we're going to go clear. Tone, uh, you can change your skin tones, and you've got quite a few uh, skin tones to choose from here, which is really cool. It'll be kind of somewhat tan, not a hundred percent. Uh, and that's the primary options. We can go into this hairstyle. We got crew cut mullet. Well, let's just go all the very beginning. We got buzz cut crew mullet, curly pixie, messy bangs. We have some more options this year. Uh, Bob cut ponytail. Um, I'm going to go with the mullet. I mean, come on now In color. Uh, I'm going to make it kind of like my hair. There we go. Uh, full goatee. No, I want a beard, baby. There we go. These are the options of mutton chops and stuff. There's some options there. Pretty cool. It's double. Go with the beard on that one. Color. That's perfectly fine. Uh, eyebrow shapes. We can change. I like you can bush them. Keep them bushy. Bush them up. Kind of arched. Yeah, like you, I'll do that. Uh, same color. I always I want the uh, colors to be kind of the same as our uh, as our beard. Would be kind of nice. Uh, or hair, one of the two. Let's go a little darker. There we go. All right, sweet. Uh, next option, eye options. We have shapes of our eyes we can change. Uh, kind of like we've had before in the past. Uh, fullness, you can, you know, make them droopy uh, or normal. I'm a little bit about right there. Color, uh, we can change it. I'm blue-eyed, so I'm just going to make them blue eyes. In and out, uh, however you want. Up, down, you know, standard stuff there. Uh, move on to nose options. We have the shape of the nose we can change. Uh, the fullness, nostrils, uh, bridge, uh, up and down, in and out, you know, stuff like that. Uh, mouth options, we got quite a few options there. You can do uh, fullness, in and out, up and down, uh, chin, same thing, width and length. Head accessories, we've got uh, this now. Uh, shape is relaxed. We have flat bills uh, if we want. I'm going to go with the standard. You have camouflage, you have some options here. Pretty cool. Three color, we'll do that one. Primary, um, I'm gonna do actually black and yellow is what I wanna go with. So let's change the colors here. So we can change the hat decals to whatever we want it to be, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna go with the uh, what I've done in the past. Oh, Glavka construction, you know it. Uh, frames, aviators, you can have whatever kind of glasses you want. That's actually what I usually have. Uh, lenses you can change out. Pretty cool. And keep them regular on that. Actually, you know what? Here, let's just uh, let's go with the uh, 
the aviator look with um here we go now we're looking like a driver right yes absolutely uh we can continue or we can continue on this way outfit options shape he does he, he'll be a, a little bit um more like that there we go you can change the volume as you'd like uh style you can change up here for the fire suit i like that um let me go with um probably that and then i'm gonna change those colors again now we got the glavka construction guy yes chest glava uh glavka construction right shoulder uh you change the sponsors there oh let's do henderson smokehouse uh left side we'll do uh nascar heat four why not joe provo racewear nah we're gonna have our glavka on the back you know it there we go beautiful uh those are the outfit options we are done with that so we hit x to continue and we want to save our uh changes yes Hot new Phenom heads to the Gander Outdoors Truck Series in the 99 truck. Will Jeff Aviano dominate this season? I'm going to go ahead and guess yes. Just kidding. Oh, Warren Vigus. He makes his way into the NASCAR Heat 4 world. Hi there. I heard you want a shot in the Gander Outdoors Truck Series. My name is Warren, and I represent great racers like yourself. Thank you, Warren Vigus. Before we get started, I need to ask you a few questions to make sure we get everything just right. Okay. Series involvement. So we can skip the Dirt Tour series. We can participate if we would like. We're gonna participate in this and uh, we'll be we'll be good on that. That way we're not doing the dirt stuff. I'm happy with that. All right, season one, truck series preparation. Let's do it. Team participation. How do you wanna race in the Gander Outdoor Truck Series next season? Join a team or start a team? We wanna start a team, of course. Uh, select a name and logo to represent your new team. Ooh, I like it. We're gonna be Black Storm Motorsports, baby. Uh, accept a sponsor offer for your team. Tunity or Hot Scream? The spicy ice cream. I'm going with this. Look at the signing bonus on this for Chevy. <laughs> yes. Uh, purchase new cars. While every track has its own distinct features, each will fall into a particular category. Each car's build is customized to capitalize on the unique aspects of a particular track type. Okay. Got it. So purchase a new car. What type would you like to buy? Um, we want a Speedway car, of course. We need that. Employees will help you prepare and improve your cars for upcoming races. Got it. Okay, an employee skill indicates how much of an impact they'll have when assigned to a given department. Check their specialist designation to see where department they gravitate towards the most. He's an engine specialist. Got it. Aerodynamics, all that. Um, right out of the gate, we already know we're going to need an engine specialist. She's 120 and he's 120. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll give it to Mark Santos. We're hiring you. Welcome to the team, Mark Santos. Make our engines good. Employee skills can be upgraded through training, but only up to their limit. For this tutorial, you cannot increase any skill value above five. Okay. So we need to train the employee. Of course we do. It's important to prepare your cars before taking them to a race. Okay. To prepare a car, you'll have to assign employees to work on the car's individual systems, just like we did last year. Uh, each system accumulates improvements over time as personnel are assigned to it. However, you'll never be able to improve any system beyond its department lip. So, uh, 75 there. Got it. So, car one speedway. Let's go ahead and assign our guy mark to this once you have all your employees assigned press start work to proceed with a work plan edit the car style so here we are with uh the paint uh, options we have this year base paint uh now with the right stick i don't have a right stick right now but you could rotate and zoom that all you want um we're not doing that today so keep that in mind base paint is gonna be black you know it we're gonna be a black truck um and we're gonna have the uh, I like this look, actually. And look at that. You got my name on the back of the truck. That is pretty darn cool, man. That is pretty darn cool. I like the yellow uh, 99 like that, too. Uh, numbers, we have 8, 28, 36, 99. I'm going to be the 28 truck. I think I'm going to go with that. Yeah. Uh, rim style, we can change all those out if we want. Um, pretty much what we've had in the past as far as that goes, but... I really like the dark black look with the yellow rim on it. That looks really cool. I like that. Okay, so that's what we got, uh, and we will continue. Save my changes. Yes. All right, next season summary. Here's your lineup for season one. Ready to start. Ready to start. Let's do it. Start a season. Black Storm Motorsports. I'm ready. 
Warren Vigus, great. I'll get everything set up and let you know when it's all in place. Wonderful. Thank you. We're good to go. I think we have the makings of a great season. I hope so, Warren. I do hope so. All right. Your sponsors will provide you with opportunities to earn more money through incentive contracts. If you successfully complete the requirements of the contract, you will receive a specified payout. So the incentives are definitely there. The incentive contracts you are offered will improve as your standings improve. Got it. All right. So we have easy, normal, and challenging. I'm going to go with normal. A little bit more money on that one. Okay, so I ran uh, this race. We have zero speed when it comes down to it, so we're not going to even bother trying to uh, to finish this race. Uh, there's just no way we're going to be able to get it done. So we are going to simulate uh, the race at Daytona. We don't even have a super speedway truck, so we'll accept that. Now we can work on our crew. There you have it. We finished 25th. Uh, that's our money, our fans, car wear. Uh, and everything else. So harsh driving, no savings. You got it. Here's our message feed. How you drive during a race that uh, can affect other drivers' opinions of you. The more you bump into them, the less likely they are to like you. We have neutral. Uh, hold on. You can also influence the driver's opinion if you oh respond to the message. Got it. Of course, you can compliment them or insult them. Congrats your first truck race. I'm going to compliment them. Thank you very much for that. Hey, welcome to the Gander Outdoor Truck Series. I'm excited to race with you all season. Thank you, Matt. Compliment. It was awesome to see you racing full time. If you aren't a dirty driver, if you are, I'll put you in the wall. Thank you, Corbin. We'll be nice in the beginning. We need friends. My race schedule. We're moving through this now. And now we're at the Gander Outdoor Truck Series race number two. And we're getting people ready to go here at Atlanta. Yes, this will be fun. Uh, and it's time to get to work. Okay, I'm happy with that. We'll start the work there. I'm going to accept it. And they're going to get to work on our car for our truck for Atlanta. Fantastic. And now we are ready to select our car for the race. And that is going to be our Speedway truck. Yes. And now we're ready to go to the event and get it done. It is the ultimate tailgating 200 at Atlanta. Bumpy Atlanta. This should be a fun race um, for a first one. Our guy hanging out by his truck looking really cool in his Glavka construction attire. Let's go ahead and hit continue there. And here we are greeted with the practice uh, qualifying race. Uh, I am going to not worry about practice. I know um, I do know Atlanta enough to not need that. Uh, qualify we will need to do. And uh, I'm going to change my setup on the car setup. And I'm going to make it just a little tad tighter. Uh, so that it will um, free up on the longer run. We'll, we won't be so crazy loose. All right, driver, dig. Coming with the green flag for our qualifying run. We're going to see All what right, we can now, do here. Just like practice, qualifying count. Here we go. Try to drive off as straight as possible. Big bump on the back stretch there. Now I'm seeing where my trucks uh, add compared to the top end stuff we've done in exhibition. Right, uh, we are 32nd dead last, but uh, I think that was because I read the throttle a little bit too much in one and two. However, not a big deal. We are learning. So at the very front on the pole is Harrison Burton in the 18 truck. Tyler Dipple, unapproved body modification during qualifying. He'll be in the back. Harrison Burton was the pole winner. And Austin Hill failed pre-inspection. So he will be in the tail as well. And here we are bringing up the rear of the field. All right. Be smart. Keep your head on straight. That's what we'll do. Ready? Green, Green flag in the air. Go. Let's do it. Here at Atlanta for our first race. Remember, they are on the highest setting as possible, so they are going they to be are, very are. difficult to beat. Um, but I'm fine with that. We need to work on our racing team and get better. And we'll only do that by losing races. 
and putting more money into our trucks. And Daytona would have been just an absolute mess. Have to really throw it down in there. Just breathe a little bit of that throttle here and there so we don't lose the truck. Stay high up there. All Hold over Paul there. And inside. here comes somebody on the inside. That looks like it's Austin Hill. Fighting on the outside, man. It's bumpy here at uh, Atlanta. Line, got one inside. Well, they had no problem throwing it down there either. It's so basically who's going to lift first. And that was us that did it. Use some of that draft I can get off a of Dipple. Really, really trying to keep this, uh, this truck on the bottom. It's not too easy. We don't have any handling or anything like that upgraded. Try not to put it in the wall, but man, it's tough to to send it down the corner like that and lose so much speed pushing up there. And that's just a matter of, uh, you know, you're not having enough equipment in the truck on the highest difficulty setting, which is great to see. So you'll have some uh, some things to work on and get better. And then you'll be able to uh, to race up there in the front with those guys or even at least, you know, mid-pack once we start upgrading the truck. So this is what it's like in the very beginnings of your career. You're just a small dude and you're, you're learning, which most of you guys are going to be uh, jumping into career mode uh, and you're just getting used to the new physics and the feel of the game anyway. So uh, this isn't so bad. This is a good way to, to get acquainted with the game and, uh, and see what you got. Well, oh, the truck is really loose right now. I'm just putting it in the wall because I can't even drive it anymore on older stuff. Nice driving, that Man, driving. that was no good. Okay, so looks like uh, he's going to get the free pass. The we green, all pitted. Driver. We're going to do our best all to get back up now. there and, and try to do something. And I think I could drive these trucks a little harder in the beginning. But, man, you saw it. I lost total control of it uh, on older tires like that. And I just was not able to save it. It, it was just, like, gradually getting right, worse and worse each time I went around. So we're going to see what we can do here in the opening laps of Stage 2. Realizing some more of that draft there. I really throw it down in the corner. There we go. We got something for him there. Now we're all over the back bumper of Natalie Decker and the 44 on the outside. And Jennifer Joe Cobb behind the 44. I'm noticing you do have to use the draft a little bit here, more than you would expect. Trying to put this thing in the wall. Nearly did it. I'm just really trying to drive this thing right now. I'm trying to clear myself too. That's not going to help. And no, we don't have anything for these guys back here yet. We're still fighting, though. We're not giving up. Careful. Still there. Side draft in the 50 for... <laughs> We're fighting each other for last place, of course. I'm just going to barely breathe the throttle a couple times there. So we're hitting the wall, but man, I think we're going to hit the wall on that one. Yeah, we are. The truck's just... Uh, we just tore our tires up on those restarts. Uh, because I went full out on the first lap. We cannot do that anymore. Well, I'm slowly, slowly working on the truck in front of us, and I think I've saved tires just a little more than him, but I'm not sure. The truck is pretty loose at this time. I am wheeling it pretty good off the corners right now. He is hitting pit road, so maybe he had something happen to his truck. And now we set our sights on something that I don't think we can even get to, and that's going to be Quaffle up there at uh, three seconds ahead of us. We are on old tires for sure now. And I'm having to just be careful with it because this thing is super loose. It feels like I'm driving on ice right now. Easy on the tires, driver. Yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, almost lost it again there. Came off the corner, hit that bump, and it really upset the truck. And you're seeing how significantly slow we are now on worn tires. White flag. White flag for this stage. And these guys think they can make it to the end. We'll see. I'm 
taking a gamble on it and will pit at the end of the stage. We'll see what happens here. The truck is really loose right now. I, I don't have any feeling in the middle of the wheel anymore. None at all. I'm off the gas, trying not to wreck it. Almost did it there as we almost took out Parker Cleaverman. And I'm just still, I feel like I'm driving in uh, the trucks on a dirt at Eldora right now is what it feels like. If you want a comparison. Trying to get to the end of this race. We're in 11th right now, so. One more to go. Come on. One lap remaining in stage two. I think we can do it. We're a little off. We, we, we had to pit for fuel earlier. Just need to make these tires last. Are we looking on tires? We tire. Oh, we just we blew the tire. The right side's down. Right side's down. Can't save it anymore. It's around. Blew the tires out on it. That'll earn you a few stage points. Oh, my Lord. I don't know which one went first. It might have been the right front. You see got a lot of smoke coming out the right side of the truck there. Okay, so we definitely have to pit now. Okay, we got uh, four fresh tires on this thing. We're ready to try to get to the end of this. Let's do it. All right, it. man. You're covered in the green. Ready? Green flag back in the air. And we are in 11th low, right now. Let's see what we can do. Try to prove our worth here and finish Careful. this stage out. Try not to make too many enemies, so I'm, that's why I'm jumping out of the gas there. Don't want to wreck somebody. Outside. And have a rival right out of the gate on our first race. Inside. They already were concerned about my skill level. Got a car coming inside now. Keep digging. Ten to go. Ten inside. to go. That's a lot of racing. Got a car low now. Clear down low. Really got trying to wheel this thing. Now. I'm just going to pedal it up the hill a little bit there. Inside, inside. And they're all destroying us on speed. Got one up I'm going to stick to the bottom. Might have a fighting chance if we can just stay to the bottom. No, nope. not enough. I can't even get the truck down to the bottom while trying to maintain speed in the corner as it will not drive down there. Run in the middle. Oh, somebody just made some contact. It was Matt Crafton. Uh, and uh, that was Natalie Decker, I believe. No, that's the five truck. So we got some guys that are uh, down a, a lap. They're not shown on the, the lead. It's confusing me off of what I'm seeing. We're just trying to survive here. We got, a lot of guys got caught down a lap based off of that pit cycle. That's why we're able to we hold on to 12th. They've got to completely come back around and pass me. I think they have. I think they can do it. Got one outside now. And they're, I'm still trying to hold them up though, and they cannot be happy with me right now. Hold your line three wide. Cannot be Pull happy with me. Car on the outside now. Pitting car just ahead. Oh, somebody in front of us blowing up. There's the caution. Everybody's gonna pit, and uh, we're gonna have to do the same. We're gonna have to do the same here. We want those uh, those fresh tires. All right, we've pitted. I think we might be in a good spot here, as long as we can hold them off now. All right, man. You're Let's do it. Green. Be ready here. Green flag back in the air. Let's get a good start. Decent restart for us there. Careful, still there. Yeah, a little bit of contact there with. Uh, so, oh, I got onto the apron there accidentally. You noticed I didn't completely Careful. wipe still out. There. You got room. You're Which clear. is wonderful. We got help from behind us there, pushing. Car on the outside now. I'm just going to send it down these corners. I'm not lifting. Uh, I had to lift a little bit there so I didn't wreck Nima check, but. Three wide there. Oh, we're going to be three wide coming off of turn number four at Atlanta. It is tight right now. They are giving us room to race, though, so that's good. All over the back for a Nima check. Getting him inside, a little loose. Inside. That worked out in our favor. We're going to try to get the truck all the way back down to the bottom. I cannot get it to turn to the bottom of the track at all. And Gilliland's going to capitalize on that move. I'm going to try to block the inside lane here the best I can. So we can try to get around the rest of this track in one piece by protecting that bottom lane. Car 
Huge move by the 12 on the outside. Had to breathe the throttle a little bit there as it's going to chase up the track for sure as our tire wear is starting to matter. Because we are on such a compressed, uh, you know, racing stages. And I wanted to show the difference. We can always adjust that if we want to later on. But man, it really makes this challenging. It really does. I'm still on the lead lap, though. So I'm still in 10th. One lap to go. Just don't wreck it. We just got to make it around the rest of this track without wrecking. And it's it's difficult to do right now. We're in the wall. We're okay. In the wall again. The 32. I came down into him. But that's all right. We're in 12th. We can finish this. We just don't get lapped. And we worked out our pit cycle. I don't know how this happened, but man, I didn't think it would. Yeah, these things are about toast too, these tires. Look at this, 36% on the right front, 39 on the right rear. We go. did it. Look at that, P12, our first race. Oof. We just lucked out. We just absolutely lucked out. All right, so our race results, let's see who won the race. That will be Brett Moffitt in the 24 truck, second to Ross Chastain, third to Jordan Anderson, fourth to Ben Rhodes, fifth to uh, Corbin Forrester, sixth to Austin Wayne Self, seventh to Joe Nemechek Jr., uh, eighth to Christian X, and then we've got uh, ninth rounding out with Josh. Uh, I forget how you say his last name. And then look at that, Natalie, Natalie Decker in 10th. All right, we finished 12th. We got a nice purse from that. Sponsor payout was $3,400. Merch payout of only $10. Come on. We had put on a hell of a show. That gives us $29,461. We really lucked out on causing that caution uh, uh, by, you know, losing all that. And um, it worked out in our favor because we trapped a bunch of guys down on pit road that were making green flag stops. 
So here's the uh, clean driving bonus, as you can see here. Harsh driving, no savings. Uh, we are looking good there. We'll continue. Man, we made a lot of money on that. All right, the next race is at Las Vegas. So we need to work on our trucks and try to get more speed. All right, we've added on Olivia Palmer as our suspension specialist. And now we have Rachel Lay that has joined the team as well. All right, department upgrades. Let's go ahead and uh, jump these up. It's going to be a lot of money, but to jump these up, $45,000 is half of our budget. But it'll be worth it. We need everything we can get. Okay, so when we look at our upcoming tracks, we've got Las Vegas next, and then we go to Short Track, which is Martinsville. So we did buy a Short Track car, uh, so we can start building on that. We did hire those new people. Uh, we are going to assign our newest member, Rachel Lay, to that. So we'll select her. Uh, yep, you are going to start working on the Short Track car. Uh, and then over here, we've got our Engine Specialist, Aero Specialist, and Suspension Specialist. They're all ready to do some work on the Speedway car. So maybe we'll have a little bit more speed at Las Vegas. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Don't pay attention to uh, up next being Martinsville. It will not be. I forgot to cut an outro for this uh, video. So I wanted to say that's our first look at the career mode. Uh, next time, we're going to be racing at uh, Las Vegas with the trucks. And um, we're going to see how that shakes out. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.